Hi all, this is Chris Charles, Everyday VBA. In this video, we're going to be looking at count. Uh, it's going to be a quick video, but it's going to show you kind of what you can do with count, why you would use it. Um, it's essential if you're going to start using loops or doing comparisons. Um, so we're just going to go ahead and dig right in. I've got uh, the ones that I'm going to show you where it can work. And we've got our Visual Basic Editor open. If you don't have that open, just hit Alt F11. It will open it for you. I don't have a module open, so we're going to click on that little drop down. I'm going to open a module. I'm going to do sub and I'm going to do count. Um, I don't like naming it count. The reason is, is it's going to kick an error. Um, I'm going to do count uh, macro. Okay, so the first thing you can do is we're going to go. S is equal to sheets.count. That makes sense. That's the number of sheets that you have. Now, once you have the sheets, you can loop through them. You do a for, for or do loop. You can also do rows. So we're going to do R equals range. And we're just going to do A10 to B. Now we're going to go, let's go D25 dot rows dot count. Now again, if you wanted to loop through, if you wanted to loop through a range, that would be how you do it. Uh, do that same thing with columns. I'm just going to copy this whole thing. Um, and really, all I'm going to do is I'm going to show you in our locals window that we're storing these variables, um, storing these variables, and we're giving them a number. So, or, uh, yeah, giving them a number. C O L U N S. Okay, columns. Um, the other thing you could do is if we're doing the same thing, you can do a count of cells. And we can also do workbooks. So w. And typically that will actually show up. Um, all right. So now we're just going to walk through each one of these. I will include these uh, this code in the video, but sheets counts. So it's empty. Notice I've got two sheets, which makes sense because there's one and there's two. A range, that should give me 15. It gives me 16 because it counts 10. That makes sense. Now notice these are showing up in my locals window. If you don't have your locals window, highly recommend that you have your locals in your immediate window. Just click on that bad boy and that'll open it up. Column count, this is going to be four. Notice it pops in four. The range cell count is going to be 64. And workbook count. Now this is an interesting one um, because it's got two, right? Now if you look down here, um, I have a single workbook open, but I also have the personal workbook and I also have an add-in. Now it counts the workbook, um, the personal workbook as a workbook that's open even though it's visually not seen. So that's just a, a quick rundown of count, why it's used. Um, it's the basis of really doing a lot of comparisons if you're using if statements or loops like ifs and fors. Hope you enjoyed. Make sure you subscribe and comment uh, on all of my videos. Hope you enjoyed.